Today on the podcast, I am bringing you the latest news out of Eleven Labs. For those that don't know, Eleven Labs is pretty much my favorite uh, audio AI tool that can create, you know, use create audio out of any text. And the cool thing about Eleven Labs is that you can actually clone your own voice. So you upload one or two minutes of you talking and it can clone your voice. I even thought about uh, when I first started this podcast, making it an Eleven Labs podcast was just a clone of my voice like reading articles then i decided that uh with all of this ai especially in the ai space you guys probably want to hear real human plus if it's just um you know ai generated content with my voice reading ai you know get my you know i'm sure you really appreciate all my uh perspectives and insights that i randomly throw into this thing so the one thing that i will say to you you better freaking appreciate how timely i am on this i don't know what my problem is but when i see like a I'm incredibly busy, okay? In case you didn't know, I have startups I'm running. I have a lot of crap to do. And when I see, like, on LinkedIn, a new post about a new AI development, I stop everything I'm doing. I sit down and I record this freaking podcast for you because I love you. So you better appreciate that. And just to tell you how much you should love me, this thing came out nine minutes ago. This announcement came out nine minutes ago. You are getting this news fresher than the freshest tomorrow on TechCrunch that they're going to write about this or maybe they won't write about it to the next day okay so you're getting this before everyone else uh that's all I have to say <laughs> anyways let's jump into the podcast welcome to the AI chat podcast I'm your host Jaden Schaefer make sure that you go to AIbox.ai link in the show notes to join the waitlist for our new AI platform. We're gonna be launching an incredible platform that allows you to build anything you want with workflows um, in AI. So you're able to chain together chat GPT and image generators and audio generators to make really powerful apps for your organization, or you can host them on our marketplace and actually generate royalties from them. So make sure to go to AIbox.ai and join the waitlist in addition, if you like the podcast, if you could do me a massive favor and please leave us a review on Apple or Spotify or wherever you listen to your podcast. This helps me be able to get better guests on here as they check the reviews to see how you guys are liking it. So if you could please do that, I would really, really appreciate it. Have you ever wanted to start your own podcast? I record and publish podcasts on a platform called Spotify for Podcasters and I absolutely love it. Essentially, you can upload from your phone or computer and it distributes to every platform that plays podcasts. They support video podcasts podcast and you can make money on the platform with ads or even podcast subscriptions something that has made my life so much easier as a podcaster so if you're interested i highly recommend you give it a try you can download the spotify for podcast app or go to spotify.com podcasters to get started on your podcast today in a leap towards revolutionizing the field of long form audio creation Today marks the launch of projects from Eleven Labs. So Eleven Labs is the audio generating AI platform. And this new feature they have called Projects is a one-stop kind of a workflow solution for generating and editing extensive audio content. So this came from a really a, a ton of exhaustive research they did into long form speech synthesis, audio conditioning, and uh, paralyzed audio generation. And Projects aims to alleviate the you know, multifaceted challenges faced by creators, publishers, and independent authors in audio production. So really what they're saying here is this is now a platform where you can create audiobooks. And I think this is a really like timely piece of news because Project Gutenberg uh, just said that they have, it's essentially like a, a, a platform that has like a ton of different open sourced or like books pretty much, right? That's Project Gutenberg. And Project Gutenberg has just used AI to uh, essentially dictate or like voice um, 5,000 books, and it's just open and available for everyone to listen to for free, right? So I don't know how big companies like Audible are going to respond, how they're going to be impacted, right? Because eventually, inevitably, if the rights to the book are not owned by someone, then all books are just going to be available for everyone to listen to for free. Um, Project Gutenberg, I think, put it on Spotify and YouTube and a bunch of other places. So it'll be interesting. Of course, there's still going to be books where it's like, a brand new book that was just written and the it's the author and, and they read it and they're going to put it exclusively on Audible. So there's going to be a space for Audible for sure. But in any case, I think this whole audio format area is getting some massive shakeups. And this new feature released by Eleven Labs is definitely one of those uh, big shakeups. So joining an already very robust kind of suite of tools, including speech synthesis, voice lab and voice library, 
projects from 11 labs, I think really stands out as a specialized tool for long form audio creation. So this could be videos, this could be um, books, this could be movie scripts, all sorts of things. But I think it arrives on the heels of a really hot demand right now for long form audio content. And it integrates effortlessly with professional voice cloning, meaning you can clone your voice and have it read a book, read your book. Um, it's really, really a useful tool, right? Authors are going to love this. Uh, they don't have to sit there manually uh, read an entire book, for example. Voice library and a multilingual model um, are essentially built into this new thing. And this is making it a very comprehensive solution for a bunch of different you know, audio needs. Something that I think is really cool with uh, some of the multilingual t AI tech I've seen so far is the fact that you can record your own voice. And besides just making like a clone of your voice to talk in like English, for example, you can also clone your voice and get it to speak, uh, you know, Mandarin or French, but in like, it sounds like your voice, but now you're speaking another language. That to me is like so cool. Um, and I've seen it integrated into these audio platforms. So prior to the advent of projects, users often found themselves when, you know, using 11 labs, myself included, I'm a user paid paying for it um, monthly. They, you know, we really found ourselves kind of tangled in an array of different challenges from stability issues to inconvenient file format limitations. One particularly annoying thing was the uh, disconnection when piecing together text fragments from different speakers, which resulted in like really jarring transitions and a lack of like the whole thing sounding co like really cohesive. So, you know, really you had to essentially um, regenerate entire audio fragments just to fix a few minor flaws. And it was really inefficient and frustrating of a process. So I've, I've watched their demo video of how this works. And I think it's actually very smart. And I'm really liking this. I'm seeing this in other platforms. Like, for example, example, big shout out to Opus Pro. It's a platform where you can upload like an entire podcast, for example. I've done it. If you follow me on Instagram and you've seen my uh, reels that I post, it just straight up comes from Opus where you can upload your entire podcast script um, or your entire podcast video. And then it will decide what pieces of it are like interesting uses AI to decide which pieces are interesting and it's going to clip them out then it throws a bunch of editing on top cool text transitions and stuff um, and it essentially creates an entire reel for you now the thing that I really love about it the reason I bring it up is because they're using the same editing technique that I'm seeing uh, 11 labs use and that is I'm so used to it I don't know if you've done much video editing or audio editing but I'm so used to most platforms where essentially you see like the audio file in front of you and you like listen to a point, it's a bunch of spikes up and down, right? That's how audio files look. And you like clip different audio files, you delete things that you don't like, whatever. That's how you edit stuff. The way that these new AI and kind of more modern editors work, whether that's uh, video or audio, is that it essentially gives you a transcript. So if you upload an audio file or you get something recorded, or for in Opus's case, uh, the video clip, it shows you just the transcript of what's being said. And you literally, like, if you don't want a word in your video, you just backspace it off the transcript. So it's just like editing a text document, except it it's tied to the timestamp and everything on the actual video or the audio file, and it edits it there live. Absolutely love that form of editing. I don't know why, but it's so annoying. Like, for me, using video editors, like a Premiere, for example, trying to, like, trim the exact place where I start or stop saying a word, so much better to just see the transcript and just backspace the word off the transcript or black it out on Opus, and then all of a sudden it's, like, just removed super super cool so 11 labs is doing the same thing where essentially you're able to do like multiple voices so for example if you have an audiobook and there's like three different characters in there you can select like one of the characters quotes and then you can use a different voice to narrate like so it's actually like a conversation between all these different people and you know you've heard this before in audiobooks where it's like one voice actor and they like put on a different accent when they're talking like a different person. And it's kind of like, you know, funny. And then it's like the grandpa talks like this and like the kid talks like that. Um, it's like funny and it's like whatever. And there's there's skill and whatever involved. This is kind of cool though, because it's just like you literally get different voice actors for all the different parts. Um, it's really easy to edit. You just highlight the, the text you want, select the voice. It's going to do the voice for that one. You highlight the next one, change the voice if you want or continue with the same voice. And this works for both their library of for those that don't know 11 labs has like a library of their own voices they also have a community tab where people um can you know essentially allow their voices to be used and then they also have the whole voice cloning thing so you can clone your own voice um or someone in your studio's voice upload it and then use that to narrate different parts so very very cool so essentially what they're doing here is that they're pro promising an entire audiobook at the click of a button 
Um, and so this whole new projects feature brings in an array of really interesting features. Users can now designate specific text fragments to particular speakers, like I mentioned. Um, and the thing that's interesting here is that they're both um, like you could do multiple languages. So you could you can essentially like highlight and change languages. They have different voices for different languages and different things. So all of this is very, very interesting. In their blog post, they recently said, quote, with projects, our goal was to design a tool that makes long form audio generation as simple as possible, drawing from fresh, fresh research and your feedback. We've developed a comprehensive solution, which also seamlessly integrates with our existing ecosystem of tools. We can't wait to hear uh, you bring your stories to life, end quote. So in any case, I think this is a really cool tool. I think this is going to be a, a, a game changer in a lot of uh, different areas. We're going to see a ton more um, like this is really unlocks audiobooks now um and, and an affordable rate i think um and so i think it's going to be interesting to see the different audio creations that come out of this new innovation this new platform 11 labs really is on top of their game and have definitely a company that will continue to follow in the future this episode is brought to you by shopify that's the sound of switching your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling. Harness the best converting checkout and same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Stop leaving sales on the table. Discover why millions trust Shopify to build, grow, and run their business. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech23. Thank you for listening to the AI Chat Podcast. If you enjoyed the podcast, I'd appreciate it if you rate me wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you're looking for an innovative group of AI enthusiasts, make sure you check out our Discord channel and also our Facebook community. It's obviously a lot more interactive than a podcast where we can actually share software tools, prompts that we're using in everyday AI. I'll leave a link for those in the description below.